Hello everyone, my name is Shambhu. We hope you all are doing well. So, as uh, in the previous video, we had discussed regarding uh, the test of two variances. That what is this test of two variances, and basically, what are the things we do and what we basically do not do. Right? All all of the things we have discussed out. Now let's quickly take out a very uh, general example. I'm just not going to solve out anything or anything like that. It's a very general example that I'm going to take out. Okay. So I would just simply change out the color, then I would proceed on with the writing. Great. Okay. So here goes that. Suppose. Suppose we sample. Suppose we sample randomly. Suppose we sample randomly from. From two independent. Suppose we sample randomly. From two independent normal populations. From two independent normal populations. Populations. Fine. So suppose we sample randomly from uh, from two independent normal populations. Okay. Now in that case, what we are having the things that we need to be put on here. I need to be remember out as well. Uh, okay. Dot. Fine. Now here we have let sigma one square and okay, and here we have sigma two square. So sigma one square and sigma two squares. Uh, these let be the be the population be the population variances be the population variances and and s one square. A comma okay uh be the population variances and okay this is s1 one second let me write down one very clearly one okay s1 is square multiplied by uh not multiply here will go the and let me just get down here so suppose we sample randomly from two independent normal populations let sigma one square sigma two square be the population variances and s1 and s2 and s2 squares be the be the be the sample variance fine so one second right here so uh, let the, these are sigma one square sigma two square be the population variances and s1 square and s2 squares be the sample variance right so in that case now basically what is going to happen full stop let the sample let the sample sizes so let the sample sizes be the let the sample sizes be the population variances or okay, let the sample sizes that i have already done that let the sample sizes be the okay, not population it's not that another one let be the uh, n1 and n2 so n1 and n2 are basically the sample sizes which we have here okay n1 and n2 fine next since we are interested next is basically um, right here now uh, let's say we are interested in comparing the two sample variables we use for the F ratio. So in that particular case, yes, of, of course, we could use our, this particular um, type of, um, like you could use uh, this particular type of uh, question or answer this out in this particular way and uh, address all of the things, right? Fine. So basically, uh, as we just wanted to find out and we're interested in find comparing the two sample variances. So in that case, we're going to use out the F ratio of uh, F ratio uh, that uh, formula. Okay, let me just come down and show you that F ratio one. So here it goes that F is equal to then. Okay, now we are having N1 and N, sorry, S1 and S2. It goes S1 upon S2 whole square, whole square, um, right here, okay, just like this. After that, we have um, this, then we have the second one as well. Okay, so into that particular case, I'll be functioning out here S2. 
okay s2 in the bracket we have s2 square divided by um, and that is completely sigma 2 right sigma okay one second and here it's sigma down wala na, right so here sigma 2 fine so if this is the particular formula that we have out here um s1 upon okay that's s1 upon sigma 1 and s2 upon sigma 2 so let me now just clear out uh, clear out the complete formula and write that out again so here we go on to the draw and i will just run all of the things whatever we have written till now into that case this draw comes here and uh, i will just put on the different things let's put on the formula first of all fine so f is equal to i have this one particular block okay and onto that particular block we have s1 square upon okay one second s1 square uh, and here we have v1 square upon we have s2 square okay we have s2 square and then down the line down this particular one we have sigma 2 whole square right so yes this is how we just put on the things we just put on the uh, relevant formula so after this basically what is this f having so f has the distribution f has the distribution here goes the f has the distribution that is capital F approximately equal to this is capital F and into the bracket you have n minus n1 minus so 1 comma n2 minus 1 okay where now into this case n1 minus 1 are the degrees are are the okay let me, let me remove that out n minus 1 are the degrees of freedom degrees of freedom okay degrees of freedom for the degrees of freedom for the numerator and for the numerator and n n2 minus 1 numerator and and n2 minus 1 are the degrees are degrees of freedom for are the degrees of freedom for the denominator for the uh, denominator fine are the ones are the basic degrees of freedom for the denominator right so yeah hope i am very much clear with all of those things whichever i have mentioned out so let me give you again an idea so which we have taken on an example that suppose we sample randomly from Two independent normal populations right so let sigma 1 square and sigma 2 squares be the population variances and s1 square and s2 squares be the sample variance let the sample sizes be n1 and n2 so f is equal to s1 square upon v1 square upon s2 square upon sigma 2 squared fine so it has a distribution f belongs to f that is in the afterwards which is on the right hand side f inside that we have n1 minus 1 comma n2 minus 1 ke pure like they have then we have n1 minus 1 are degrees of freedom for the numerator and n2 minus 1 are degrees of freedom for the denominator right so hope i am very much clear with whatever i just referred regarding the f distribution so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care